in a previous video, I did mention that I will keep you all up to date on the news of Honkai Serial. And very quickly, if you have not already taken advantage of the Prime X Gaming with Honkai Serial, definitely get the 60 Stellar Jades you can for your account. That is if you have a Amazon Prime account attached to your Honkai Star account. If you don't have this, then this wouldn't apply for you, but it's free gems nonetheless, and I just picked it up for myself, so I thought I would mention it to you guys. Next up, we have a Honkai Star Twitch Stream Incentive Plan, our Twitch Stream event, pretty much, basically. So what this is, is you live stream, you stream a certain amount of hours, like an hour per day, 21 days in a row, and you get a bunch of Stellar Jades for your accounts, up to 7,000 Stellar Jades. That is literally like 42, 43 pulls. 43 pulls for just streaming one hour every day for 21 days now there is a certain amount of people that can get the rewards so it might be a first come first serve type of thing or it may just target the most popular streamers who knows what the criteria is going to be when they actually wrap up the whole event because there's going to be a lot of people participating but in general you should at least get some type of reward if you actually put in the effort and maybe you already have a decent amount of viewership. You never know. This may lead to something great for you long term. I never would have thought I would be making as many videos to as many people watching my videos in Honkai Star. So never, never know. Give it a shot. And who knows what the future may hold. Next up, they did just reveal the banner for Fushuan, which we'll talk about later in the video. But here we have Link's Hook and Pela, three amazing characters. Hook is pretty decent as a fire damage dealer, has burns in her kit. You can use her alongside Kafka. Works pretty decently, especially against bosses, right? Pela, really good character. I call her Silver Wolf Light because that's what she is essentially. But if you're looking for more AoE cons, like more AoE defense breaks, she's way better. And then Lynx is an amazing four star up on this character that we talked about in the Mono Quantum video. If you have not checked that out already, I suggest you check it out. I go deep into detail about Mono Quantum and exactly how every character functions in and outside of that team. And Lynx is a very good character outside Mono Quantum and especially good at Mono Quantum herself. And Fushuan, of course, is the premier defensive option in that team comp, and she's really good outside of Mono Quantum. I've said this a bazillion, trazillion times, but overall, very strong banner. Now, they did show her light cone, which we'll go over in this video. Um, they did not show exactly what the light cone, like the, I would say the passive of the light cone, so I don't know if I can actually say it per se, quote unquote, because they haven't said it in the actual uh, patch real uh, update reveal. I don't know what to call it, banner reveal. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, maybe I can just go ahead and say it. But overall, her light cone, of course, best slot, very strong. But she has a access to a lot of light cone options, which, as I said, we'll explain it later in the video. And the most important thing here is that there is going to be another double planner drop. So it seems like they're making this very consistent alongside the ten day, uh, the seven day login bonus where they give you ten pools for free. So very happy that this is becoming a perma stay in the game. I wish they would do this every single weekend. That'd be even better. So with Fushuan around the corner, I thought it'd be a good time to talk about her best light cones. And what better way to talk about it than a character like Jephard, who functions the same as Fushuan, who takes advantage of the same light cones a character like Fushuan does as well. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention is that Fushuan actually does have high base defense. So she takes advantage of similar light cones like Jephard. The only difference being is that she's not a character scaling on defense. She's just a character scaling on HP, which is the opposite of a character like Jephard. The Jephard 5-star light cone is a pretty strong option on the character. If you don't happen to have her 5-star best in slot limited light cone, then this light cone is a great option. And considering it is a standard banner light cone or weapon, we can call it because it's like weapons from Genshin Impact, you wouldn't go wrong with putting this on the character. You increase your defense for a character that wants to mitigate and soak damage. That's pretty good because defense means you'll take less damage, right? That is calculated before you actually receive the final damage. And on top of that, you have an increased chance of being hit by the enemy. So that makes it to where she increases her taunt value naturally. And that's very strong for preservation characters in general. One of the light cones I'm really looking forward to using is We Are Wildfire. This light cone decreases the damage all of your allies receive, which is very valuable for a character that already mitigates damage the whole team will receive. I think to take into consideration that this should stack with her passive, making this a pretty nice option in AoE situations, where Fushuan may not be the only target getting hit. On top of that, you recover HP at the end of the battle, which is pretty good because this is very valuable in a game mode like Simulate Universe, where you're not going to really have healing from a character like Fushuan, more so mitigating damage. So having a heal effect at the end of your battles makes this a very nice option to use in most PvE content in the game. Well, I mean, it is a full PvE game. A four-star version of Jetpar's five-star Lyco Lando's choice 
is very good on Fushuan because you increase your taunt value. On top of that, you reduce the damage you're taking by 24%. If you have the Withering Snow set on her, you will decrease the damage you receive further. So you can have a 32% damage reduction on your main tank. I think that's very, very good considering that Fushuan wants to receive as least damage as she can because she will be the only defensive option in the team. Trend of the Universal Market, which is featuring the best girl in Honkai Star Rail, this light code increases your defense by a massive amount, especially if you have refinements on it. If you take it into consideration, Fushuan has a high base defense. Well, this means that the burn damage that the enemy will receive every time the enemy hits you will be increased. And for a character that works really well with characters like Kafka, you'll find this a best and slot option to use on a character whenever you're using her with dot based characters. For instance, Kafka and the other dot characters like Sampo, Luca, and in the future, Gui Nai Fun. For free to play that don't really have refinements on any of the four star light cones, or if you just want a light cone to increase your overall stat line and provide more mitigation for your Fushuan, look no further than Texture Memories. This is going to be the best in slot light cone to use alongside the best in slot five star light cone, limited light cone on Fushuan. And the reason being is because you increase your effect resistance by 8% at max refinements, you're getting a 16% effect resist increase. If you think about it, that is literally four rolls into effect resist. That's very valuable for a character that wants to not be CC'd. So for every defensive option, you always want to have effect resistance. And I would argue around 50 to 70% is always a good number. On top of that, you receive a shield percentage of your max HP if you don't have a shield when you're attacked. And Fushuan being a character of high attack value means she'll be attacked more often. And then you receive less damage whenever you have that shield. So for a character that already mitigates damage, having a shield means that she'll always be a around on the field. Making this light cone very good for a character like Fushuan because it has everything you would want from a light cone. So there you have it. Now, I don't know what this is on the screen, so just ignore it and I guess we'll just wrap up the video here. But every single preservation light cone seems like it'll be a pretty decent option on Fushuan. So it, I think it just boils down to just use what you have on your account. If you're like me and you have a lot of refinements for We Are Wildfire and you plan to use her mostly in AoE situations, then that probably will be, be the best light cone for you to use. Or maybe you've gotten unlucky and you pulled a bunch of Jetpar light cones and you already have the character and you have him with his light cone, you have an extra copy. Then you can't go wrong with putting that light cone on Fushuan because she'll increase her own taunt value and then she'll have higher defense. And for a character that already has high base defense, you'll find it a lot of value to use Lycone like that. But if you plan to use Fushuan in the team team of Kafka, which will be a very nice option alongside that character, then you probably want to use the Lycone with Topaz on it because that will increase the damage that Kafka overall deals because she detonated dots. I think any Lycone you have on your account will be very valuable in the character because she is just that flexible. That's the video here. Thank you for watching. I cannot wait for the release of Fushuan. We'll have more videos going over the character, of course, when she releases. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.